friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe management of this cataract with genular dehiscence from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, that is 3 o'clock hours. The main incision is being placed at 11 o'clock. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% SPMC. One side port is made on the left side of the main incision. And now see what happens as I try to do capsulorexis with the uterata forceps. The whole lens moves and there is a gap from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Very minute gap. Let's go again. I take a sharp needle, bent needle and incise the anterior capsule and raise a capsular tag. And now when we do rexis we have to remember that we have to be far away from the uh, in the area where there is genular dehiscence that is from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock the rexis will be far away from the equator of the lens. That means the rexis will be eccentric. And now hydro dissection is done with BSS using a 27 gauze cannula and the nucleus is tapped. I have already planned to use a capsular tension ring. Here goes the visco and now I am using a iris spatula to dissect the anti-capsule up to the equator by this blunt instrument. So this is done and now uh, I have asked for CTR and my assistants are get, getting ready with the capsular tension ring. So here is the capsular tension ring, it goes, the leading end has to go under the rexis margin, after 2-3 attempts it has gone under the rexis margin and now I am gradually and gently pushing it. Ideally, the CTS should have been placed from a side port which is at 8 o'clock. Anyway, the genular dehiscence is, see, it appears more, the genular dehiscence appears from 9 o'clock to almost 2 o'clock. And now I have taken the pre-chopper to divide the nucleus. So the irrigation pressure will be avoided. One heminucleus is divided into two. this large piece is being attempted to divide into two pieces. And now SPMC is again injected. Now I am trying to rotate the nucleus 
but it is very tough to rotate. In when the genule is weak, the rotation of the nucleus is tough. So, I have decided to remove the hemineucleus which is which has been divided into three pieces. So, this is the first one. Ultrasonic energy used is 65 percent, flow rate is 45, vacuum is 400. 50 millimeter of mercury. And now, I come out at this time, first time injecting air, because air is easy to inject. And then, I am going to replace this air with visco. So, this is a technique, just ask your assistant to push some air, you hold the syringe and they push the air and then you push the visco through the main port. Now, I am rotating the hemineucleus with two hooks. I take the pre chopper again, pre chopper and nucleus sustainer and divide this hemineucleus into two pieces. Again, I try to divide this hemineucleus, it could not, it was cumbersome, so it just came out. Now, I again go with the hand piece. These two pieces have to be emulsified. This will be not be difficult to emulsify these two pieces, but the real tough job will be to remove the cortex with the CTR in place. So, the epinuclear shell is removed and now I try to remove some cortex by the hand piece itself. This is dangerous, please do not try this there is a high chance of you know high chance of PC rent. I am always cautious at any moment if I catch the PC, I will use reflux to release it. Even then with these thoughts, I just not continuing this, I just come out. Now, I use Simco to remove the cortex from 9 o'clock. And when I try to remove this, I find that there is some problem. The cortex is firmly adherent to the CTR. And when I am when pulling the uh, cortex, I am afraid that I am pulling the capsule also. With these thoughts, I release it, inject visco, then I take the Simco and try to remove the cortex at 6 o'clock. Yes, I could remove this and now is the real challenge to remove this cortex and it is lot of cortex, you cannot leave it like this, we have to release it, we have to remove it. How to do that? My plan at this time is to make a port at 7 o'clock, which I did and then use the 
use the Simco cannula, pulling it very gently so that I do not catch the capsule. and ultimately it comes yes only a very small fleck is remaining there let it be there we should be good uh, in challenging cases we must not try to be perfect because if we try to be perfect then there can be some problem can happen. And now watch how to place the lens in the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes in the capsular bag. Now I cannot push it and place the trailing haptic in the bag. If I do that there will be a lot of stress on the jonule. Some of jonular fibers will be turn. So, I dial the lens, bring the leading haptic at 12 o'clock and now place this haptic in the bag at 5 o'clock. Dial it little more. The haptic which is at 12 o'clock is now giving extra support to the area of genular weakness. And now I am using this Simco cannula to remove some visco. We are towards the end of the surgery. A lot of visco removed. And now bimanual irrigation aspiration will be taken. Irrigation and aspiration together. and hope that all the visco has come out. Now, this is bit of moxie. Then the side ports are closed by hydration of corneal stroma. And finally, a uh, final lavage of the anterior chamber by the Simco. Form the anterior chamber nicely. And the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.